We have federal judges now who have just come forth just this very day and ruled that abortion is an essential service that allows any woman to leave her quarantine at any time to put doctors and nurses at risk. I'm Dr. Duke, and this is Constitution Corner. I'm joined today by Pastor Paul Blair. Pastor, thank you for joining us. Duke, my pleasure. Good to be with you. Well, it seems like watching the news, there's just an absolute hypocrisy when it comes to the Constitution and the coronavirus. I'm speaking specifically about how in Tampa, a priest, a, a preacher, a minister who held congregation this past week was actually arrested for violating the quarantine law. We have the mayor of New York City, the epicenter right now of the coronavirus in the entire world, really, who said that if you are caught at a church service during the quarantine, we will not just stop it. We will shut your church down permanently. On the other side of the ledger, we have federal judges now who have just come forth just this very day and ruled that abortion is an essential service that allows any woman to leave her quarantine at any time to put doctors and nurses at risk. Talk about the, the, this, the, the seeming hypocrisy of this, Pastor. Well, you've thrown a lot out there, Duke. It'll be tough to cover, but we'll give it our try. First of all, the idea of quarantine is a biblical concept. The whole idea of setting aside when someone is ill uh, until they recover or are no longer contagious, that came straight from the pages of Scripture. So we honor that and recognize that. We have a good relationship with the governor here in the state of Oklahoma. And by the way, Oklahoma is one of three states that actually took the action to close down the abortion mills during this time because killing an unborn baby is not an essential service. That does not save anyone's life. That actually deprives the baby of life. So that in and of itself is murder. And it's, it's not laughable. It should be infuriating that we have a governor or court or judges that would overrule this or attempt to overrule the states uh, in, that, in that process. But the idea of a governor asking us as pastors to say, men, we've got something that we're not we're dealing with. We, we haven't got our hands around it. We're asking you to please just do your services online or something because we want to keep people from gathering together. We think that that will spread the disease. If the governors ask us that way, obviously we want to cooperate. We are looking out for the well-being of our flocks, not just their spiritual lives, but their physical bodies as well. But when a governor says, if you open your doors, we will come arrest you, well, as they say in the South, them's fighting words. And Cuomo is absolutely out of his gourd on that one. He has overstepped his legal rights as a governor. He has overstepped the Constitution. And quite frankly, I think it's crazy that, for example, here in Oklahoma, one of the things that are considered essential services are liquor stores. Now, you'll see a whole store full of people in there buying booze over this period of time, and that's quite legal, even though you've got tens and dozens of people interacting. However, gathering for church to worship the God of all creation is considered a non-essential service. You know, somebody should have told the pilgrims that that gathering together to worship was non-essential. Because that could have saved them all that trouble. They could have just gone ahead and gone to the Anglican Church in England and saved all that money and not come to the New World and risk life and limb so that they could have the freedom to practice civil and religious liberty. So anyway, Duke, that, that is crazy. Governor Cuomo is, 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 quite frankly, he is trying to establish himself as some sort of a, a tough guy during this time rather than just taking care of the well-being of his people that have been entrusted to him in the state of New York. And the idea that a governor can shut down the doors of a church is is insane. That is the First Amendment, the right to assemble, the right to worship. Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, no, you're exactly right. I want to go back to what you said when you started. The Bible itself is the origin of the quarantine. And the other thing about the Bible is quarantines were not excuses to get together and pray communally those who weren't quarantined, right? I mean, it was not one or the other, right? They they, they understood that for those who are sick, you quarantine. For the rest, you congregate and pray to the God who made you, right? And that seems to be lost. We've got about a minute and a half left. A a quick comment from you I would appreciate on uh, the, the move to separate biblical Christianity from the founders and the founders documents. How much trouble that we're experiencing right now about this do you think stems from that movement? Well, it's complete. Our whole, the whole foundation, when Thomas Jefferson based 
the secession from Great Britain on this thing called the laws of nature and nature's God. Well, Sir William Blackstone identified the laws of nature and nature's God to include the Word of God, the Bible. So we have a foundation in the United States of America. What, what is right and wrong, uh, the definition of the family, uh, no condemnation without two or three witnesses, everything, the whole foundation of America comes from Scripture. We have a biblical worldview. So if you take away our biblical worldview, then you take away the greatness of American exceptionalism. You turn us into some any other nation that has failed throughout human history. So it's, it, it's imperative that we stay on that firm foundation upon which our founders, which were overwhelmingly devoted Christians, on which the founders built the United States of America. Yes, sir. And now we're not letting people meet together in church, but we are sacrificing ba uh, babies Thanks. on the abortion at uh, the abortion altars of Baal. Right. I mean, those two things go, to go together. Uh, don't just know your constitution, ladies and gentlemen, live it. This has been Liberty News Hour. As always, you can go to the newamerican.com and jbs.org for more information.